With Joseph Williams of Toto. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Uh, the Till the End uh, uh, single was a great idea. That's always been, to me, one of the most underrated songs in the catalog. And uh, I, I, I like the fact that... Uh, uh, was that the one with Paul Abdul? That was the video with Paula Abdul. It sure was. Yeah. Two years before she came out. It was, it was like two years this summer. Uh, she came out with the Forever Your Girl. Um, did you know, did you guys know her? Because she was on set, obviously, unlike the Pamela video where they weren't. No, the, the idea was that with uh, Till the End was, you know, Jeff was, the, was our director. And we were going to cast, um, a, you know, some dancers. And I guess a girl who was going to do some stuff with me, you know, singing till the end, or even singing with me. And and when we were in the process of ca uh, casting dancers, I'm not sure who knew her, but somebody knew Paul Abdul to come in and help us chore choreograph the whole thing, and to help us pick all the dancers. And so when all when we met all of these people, we just looked around at each other and thought she would be great to be in this thing. Uh, our, the, the, the girl we chose to help us cast it and choreograph it, uh, we just thought she would be great. And we asked her and she was, you know, sweetheart. By the way, the hat from Till the End, was that yours or was that like wardrobe? The, I think that was, war, I think that was totally wardrobe. I think that whole outfit was kind of wardrobe and it was all Jeff, you know, like, like let's come up with a good like thing from to, to have on. Uh, Jeff directed that video. That was that was a lot of fun. I have great great memories, Will, for the rest of my life on on, on the making of that video and everything. Yeah, no, that was all Jeff. He, the 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 whole the whole matador kind of thing was yeah. you know. What were you on? Why were in the beginning? Were you going like that? What were what what? what? Well, you know, cameras. I, they probably still use them, but just like a basic camera dolly for like a big thirty five millimeter camera. If you know what that looks like, it looks like just like you know a big thing with you know four wheels and so they turned the camera on and i stood on one end of it and they pulled it around the corner with me looking at the camera singing and then they, and then we sped the film up so we what we, when we filmed it we slowed the music down so i was going hey 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 and then when you speed it up you could see me going <laughs> flying around like that was that improvised when you sing when you sing those parts before you actually start singing the when you go, hey, hey, no. hey. We I, I do that stuff a lot. And those are impro impro improvisations. And I do that because I, that's like a trick that I use to get my brain ready for the first pitch of the first note of the song, which is, I know what's on your mind. So the hey, 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 hey it just like gets, like gets me ready. Now with the, the, the live project, it's amazing, you know, since it was streamed, how many times people, somehow they thought I had inf inside information. Nothing, nothing, uh, I didn't even ask, uh, um, about the uh, album being released. A and it was a no brainer, but was it always, was there always a plan to release this on, as an official live album? Not really, it came, it, it came after the fact. We, re we realized that, you know, since it was a live stream show, that uh, uh, at some point it would be nice to just have it as a as a uh, something that people people could buy as a as a, uh, a physical thing and watch it when they wanted to. We just you know that that idea came later. 